One reason is that I always thought I would write it myself, uh, being a slight control freak. And then I realized after I was approached by another writer that actually I wasn't going to write it. After 30 years, I probably wasn't going to get around to writing it. I was always too busy. So then I, then I decided I needed someone to help me write it. And that's when I sought help. So that took 30 years to get around. I didn't want to leave the story just on Mount Everest, on one ascent. And it wasn't until I grew up, and, and when I say that, I mean I grew up inside, and then I returned to the big mountains, and then I go, this is where I belong. And then I went back as a guide, but I still return and climb in the big mountains. Then I feel that I have a story to tell. I had had some people approach me, three, four or five different people, and they might have started the story of Lydia Brady's life, you know, leading up to Mount Everest. And every time they write it, they made it cute. And I would call it, um, they made it Enid Blyton-like, uh, the, the novelist uh, for young people that came out of the UK and she trotted up to the top of the hill and then she peeked over and then she had a picnic at Camp 3. And yet Mount Everest in the days without weather forecasting, in the days without that many fixed ropes, in the days when we had to carry our loads and fix our own ropes and without oxygen actually isn't a cute mountain, it's quite a tough place to be. <laughs> on, it's good that you pointed it out. Uh, no, on, on May 22, 2019, I was also on the summit of Mount Everest. And I was on the summit climbing it from the, the Tibet-China side. And we summited the very same day as that very famous photo that has gone viral of all the crowds from the south side just back to back, all the way up on the summit ridge to the summit of Mount Everest. and. When we summited a little bit later in the day, on purpose, we were the only climbers that whole day on the north side. It was immensely rewarding to have the skill to strategize to climb in that way. Yeah, yeah, no, so I am pretty uh, proud uh, and honored, I have to say, to be a guide on Mount Everest. And uh, for me, it it's a journey that has made Everest from this quite intimidating uh, um, mountain into a friend of mine, if you like, but of course it's always an intimidating mountain. Uh, and it's fantastic to be able to get to a point where my skill and my experience at guiding at altitude has paid off so that the last two summits have just been superb on our own, with nobody else, watching the dawn rise, watching the clouds go by, super small mountains, no crowds. Um, yeah, lucky. <laughs> See this book? You should buy this book. It's the French edition of my story, but the translator is fantastic, and the publishing the publication is really beautiful. And actually, the book matches my shoes. Hey, shoes. No, you should definitely buy the book.